Diana, you're chasing the story. I guess in these times, maybe it's not that surprising that a Make America Great hat could drive someone to violence. What do you got? Check this out, a broken nose, a slashed face. This is how a Trump supporter looked coming home from a bar in New York City after he says he got attacked for wearing this hat. Everybody's laughing, you see the pictures and you see the videos and you're like, wow, how did that lead to this, hmm. you know? Yeah. And it's all because of the hat. Joe Bival was wearing the iconic Make America Great Again hat when the incident happened. It was July 7th. He was dancing at the Bulgarian bar Maya Hanta on the Lower East Side after attending a Milo Yiannopoulos book signing. His Trump hat fell off, a woman stomped on it. And then I moved her away, and then I went to go get my hat, and then the guy sees me moving her away, and then it's like, he's like, yo, why are you touching my girl? Boom. Now, Jovi wasn't drinking that night. Uh, he says only water he had. He got 15 stitches in the ER. All were arrested, including Jovi, but only the couple was charged with assault. It was really bad. He had bruises all over his face. That's Laura Loomer, a conservative reporter for Rebel TV. Uh, she broke the story. She's also the one who connected Joby with Dr. Joseph Pober, the plastic surgeon in New York City on Park Avenue, who is fixing Joby's face for free. Freedom of speech was being violated. And if, if you can't, you know, express yourself in America, where will you be able to do that? Dr. Pober tells me Joe V has a long road ahead of him. Uh, he already performed surgery on his nose, and now the biggest fear to come is the scarring on the face. And it's holding up pretty well, but the orientation of the scar is such that every time you smile, it spreads it open. He estimates spending about $30,000 so far, and according to Laura, this isn't an isolated incident when it comes to conservatives being under attack. The mayor is refusing to recognize it. Um, the media is refusing to talk about it. And I think it's a really important conversation to have because eventually like someone's gonna actually die. Why does the doctor feel so compelled to step in and act in this incredible way to th the kind of money and time that the doc is spending? He just feels that these sort of attacks are happening in our country and it's part of being a, a proud American is standing up for someone's freedom of speech, freedom of expression, supporting our president. Matt, I didn't introduce you at the top of this because you're more than a guest chaser. Like you're more of a regular now, but I, but I want to get your in input on this because I think that the violence has been uh, increasing and I think at least you you know I've always said this you got from you know thoughts become words and words can become actions and it sounds like this could have been de-escalated instead of escalated well let's break it down Bill so we have a Trump supporter without health insurance <laughs> being beaten up by liberals at the same time that US Senator Cory Booker from New Jersey and other Democrats are running around accusing Republicans of trying to kill people by taking away their health care there you have the entire problem in a nutshell beaten up for a hat. Yep. The doc did it all for free? Yep. Uh, making America great again, one plastic surgeon at a time. Yep. Good. <laughs>